Hi, I'm Caitlin. I work at the Ignite Studio at the Hamilton East Public Library. And though we still can't be together, we want to connect with our community of makers and see what you're making and share what we're making. And today, I'm going to be making plastic bag fusion crafts. So this is a really fun one that you can definitely do with things that you have at home. Um, what you'll need for this is a bunch of plastic bags. I have six here just from the last time that I went to the grocery store that are all crumpled up. Um, you will need some parchment paper, um, two sheets minimum because you have to sandwich your bags between them. You'll need a pair of scissors and you'll also need an iron and an ironing board. This is one that you're definitely going to want to use um, adult help with. Grown-ups are going to need to help with this one if you're watching um, and you want to try it at home. So the first thing that you'll need to do when we get started is start by smoothing out your plastic bags here and I'm just gonna kind of flatten them out into a large pile uh, one on top of the other here. And now that they're flat, I'm going to start ironing. So I'm going to take my parchment and sandwich my bags between two pieces of parchment to start ironing. Now you'll notice here that my parchment doesn't fit completely over my bag, so I'm going to be very careful while I'm ironing not to get the plastic in contact with the hot surface of my iron. Let's get started. Now I'm ironing from the bottom of the bag up, and that's strategic because I want to make sure that I'm not trapping any air bubbles into the bag as I iron. And I also have my iron set on the cotton setting. I don't want to have it set too, too hot because that'll make the bags shrivel and burn through and have holes in them. And then you just kind of work in sections ironing your bag. I'm just waiting, just going over it, making sure that the bag is fully fused together and that there's no kind of bubbly pieces or pieces that still feel like a normal plastic bag. It'll start to, it'll start to feel like hard, harder plastic and that's what you're going to go for in order to be able to form it into something else. Okay. Now you can see that it's a little bit more rigid than when we started now. And I'm going to think about what is it I want to make now that I have a piece of material that I can turn into something. And I think today I'm going to make a little pouch. So I'm going to cut mine just into a long rectangle here. Now I have a rectangle. And I can feel that there are some areas now that I've cut into it that are still um, kind of pulling apart. So I'm just going to reinforce them by going over it again lightly with the iron. Get my scissors out of the way. There we go. Now all the layers are fused together. So let your imagination run wild. What can you make with this? Today, I think I want to make a little change purse. So I'm going to start by folding my plastic into a little pouch. A little further up. It's going to look like that when I'm done almost. And now the edges where it's going to meet, I'm going to fuse together just on the edge using my iron. So here I'm going to be very careful 
to just hit the edge where I want it to join together. And now you have more layers of plastic to get through, so it might take a little bit longer. That looks pretty good. I think I'm going to give mine a little bit of style and cut the top into a triangle. There you go. Here is our plastic bag fusion craft. I made a little pouch to keep my change in and maybe I'll go find something that I can use as a closure piece of velcro or a button maybe. Show us what you made in the comments and make sure to like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Hamilton East Public Library and we'll see you next time.